G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Product review time, and for this one, we're going to take a look at the brand new Devuan release. This is Jesse Stable from Devuan. Got it yesterday, installed it a couple of hours ago, and I've just been poking around in it. And I've got to be honest with you, yet again, these guys have smashed it out of the ballpark. I've got to be honest with you. Devuan, Ferran OS are probably two of my most favourite Linux distributions around at the moment. I've got to be honest with you. I downloaded the NetInst ISO from their uh, download site, so the net install. The installation through the package repository download manager was seamless. It just came down. There was no arguments. It just, yet again, worked. Okay. These guys are just unbelievable. It's quick as buggery to boot. Um, it It's very lightweight. I'll show you some of the features of it uh, here in just a bit. I was thinking, while I've been poking around with this, I was thinking, geez, how good would this be? Okay. Run Devuan Linux on the Sun server, on my Sunfire E4900 Sun Microsystem server. Domain A, running Devuan Linux with DHCP or DHCP server, Samba, and get all my computers to connect to this. So I've got Samba, NFS, the whole sh shooting match. And then put this as a web server and cloud setup over on domain C. How good would that be? I'd be over the bloody moon, quite frankly. Have to see how things pan out. So, um, but these guys, yeah, look, have a look for yourself. I've just taken the XFCE desktop because I'm using this as though it was in a server-style environment rather than a um, PC-style of environment. But nevertheless, this thing is just superb. I really recommend anyone out there who doesn't want to use Ferran for whatever reason and wants a pretty lightweight Linux distro, go with Devuan. Um, I picked the XFCE desktop, but there's other desktop um, varieties out there for you to have a look at. I'll just show you how I've got the uh, XFCE set up, or oh, sorry, Devuan set up on my ESXi hypervisor. So you can see there it's release 1.0 Jesse, kernel 3.16.04, uh, mate 1.81, hardware's 3 gig, it's using one core of my quad core Xeon CPU and it has a 120 gig thin provisioned hard drive in it, virtual obviously. Have a look at some of the resources and even just sitting here, uh, the thing's not even working. It's, it's just, you know, absolutely, as always, just superb. All right, so we'll ha go through some of the functions avail available in the core install. Now, I installed X11 VNC onto here. It's the only other package I've installed. I was doing a little bit of experimenting before. Under accessories, you'll see there we have the ngrandpa archive manager. We've got a calculator, a text editor, also screenshots, plus you can search for individual files. Education at the moment, we've got LibreOffice Math, which is obviously like Excel. We've got some graphic manipulation software in there as well. And as you can see here, I've put in X11, but if we forget about that for the time being, there's your default. So you get Firefox ESI, Ice Weasel, Ice Weasel to Firefox ESR, and obviously the WICD network manager. Full office package is always with Devuan, so we have a PDF viewer, a dictionary, plus a full LibreOffice suite. I haven't got, we've just got sound, but I haven't got any sound and video on this, obviously. We've got Cager File Manager, we've got a full disk usage analyzer, we've got the Matei system monitor, the Matei terminal, power statistics reporting, and then obviously root terminal and three other, or sorry, two other uh, terminal emulators. Universal access as a screen reader. Under system, 
We have our preferences. As always, pretty standard with XFCE. We've got full synaptic package manager and then control center, which is much like control panel for Windows users. Very neat, clean, tidy layout, this, as always. It just works. And this is what I love about Deviant. As a server operating system, I think Devuan is perfect because it's lightweight. Also as a desktop, if you're into it, it's, yet again, just a nice, gentle, core Linux platform. No histrionics about it, which is nice. So if we go and have a look at, um, obviously you've got there, you've got the About Me section where you can change appearances here so you can pick your themes. I'm just staying with the... Stand. We've got full screen saver ability, file management. We've got uh, specific startup applications. When you log in, you want specific applications to start up. We've got pop-up notifications, so you can set what gets notified from, obviously, up here in your, in your status bar. Also, you can pick individual things over here. We've got change themes and preferred applications. Obviously, you've got your monitor settings, your mouse settings, power management. Um... Oh, excuse me. If you're um, if you're running this on a server that is going to be under some strain on a regular basis, this would probably be advisable to adjust the performance of your server. Obviously, sound controls. You got a sound card in it, which I don't in this. So I've got to be honest with you. Up straight, these guys are brilliant. A nice lightweight Linux system. Um. Go and check it out for yourself. You'll see there's software freedom your way. The ability to get this to suit your exact wants and needs from this, these guys is brilliant. Now, as I, as I said in the past, these guys were a fork of Debian. They use INIT instead of systemd for the initialization system. But the boot up time of this is stupidly quick. It really, really is. Hang on. And as always, we've got our standard places here. XFCE, very similar to GNOME in certain aspects, obviously with the status bar across the top. Difference I did notice down here is normally your workspaces are over in the bottom corner. They've now got them in the middle, which I actually think is a really, really good idea. It, that actually works really, really, really well. Because you look at the middle of the screen more often than you look at your sides of your screen. So having it right there is actually really handy. Well, what do I think of it as a whole at the moment? I don't have a problem with it. I think they've done, they've done a wonderful job again. Just like the video I put up on the 8th of December last year, saying how good it was, this is just a next level improvement. Absolutely next level improvement. I can't fault it. We're going to end to a couple of the... Uh, Office applications, we'll have a quick look at uh, LibreOffice Writer. You can see there it's basically very, very similar to uh, Microsoft Word. The one thing that did catch my eye, I, had, I, I couldn't believe this, a very retro style Windows, Microsoft Windows, Minimize, Maximize and Cross. Actually looks good. The camera will focus again. There we go. We're going to have a quick look at uh, Firefox, as always. Now, so it's starting Firefox. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Absolutely just, it works. It just works. Much like everything with Devion, it just works. I can't fault it. If we go into, where do we go here? I've got to find it again. Hang on. Uh, the network manager. As always, it also just works. Now, I'm obviously not running a wireless network. I'm running a um, wired network. You can see there, IP address, send and receive. So it hasn't done a lot of work. Date and time, yet again, as always, just works. You can pick your locations where you are in the world. Uh, hang on. 
can pick your time and locations. I haven't actually done that properly, but anyway. So it's just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, kudos, kudos to everyone. So there we go. Go have a look at it for yourself. Check it out. Uh, maybe you'll want to use it as a server or as a lightweight desktop um, workstation setup as well. Um, I don't have a problem with it. I have to be honest with you. Um, also, you've got you can uh, change your desktop backgrounds. There's plenty of backgrounds available. Except there we go. So there's all the backgrounds that are available for you to go and have a look at. I'll just leave it as Devuan while I'm testing it and I am still testing some of the functions on here but it just works as always anyway thank you very much for watching again kudos to the development team at Devil and you've done a wonderful job yet again and uh, hope you keep improving it all anyway thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe cheers